Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going over the Robot Army Mod. Uh, now, funny story, this is one that I actually, hey, I, I thought I'd done it before, and this is why I, I haven't actually done it, because I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, otherwise, I would have done this way sooner, because it's a really, really awesome mod. So, uh, I actually featured this in one of my playthroughs quite a long time ago, um, and that's probably why I thought I'd done it. But what this, this essentially allows you to automate combat. Um, as you can see here, we have these little droids, these little robots um, that we've deployed. And uh, these guys will essentially seek out and destroy biters um, and biter bases for you. And uh, a long time ago when we had artifacts, they would also auto pick up the artifacts. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's all different kinds of them and they will form squads. You can form like guard stations or patrol routes, which I'll show you here. Um, some things I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail uh, with just because it would make for a very long video and uh, the dev for this actually provides a wealth of information on the mod portal which is linked in the description um, on that mod portal there is a link to a github page where he gives pretty much all the info you would ever possibly need to uh, know so let's start out here uh, it does have research um, I believe where you can research uh, all the different stuff. It may actually just be under military um, now that I'm actually looking at it. Yeah, it looks like you do unlock these guys like through um, different military, the normal military researches, so there's not specific researches for them. Um, but there are all different kinds. So um, there's essentially, let, let's go over the buildings and stuff first. So you have a droid activity module. Um, and this uh, counts how many droids of each type are alive in the map, so we can use this. You can like wire this to an inserter to um, tell it essentially when to stop like exporting or importing droids um, to be deployed. And I'll show you how to deploy them here in a second. There's a droid settings module, and this is where you can control all kinds of stuff with them um, in game rather than having to go into the config. And then uh, on top of that, we have a droid assembler, which is this guy here and then a droid guard station um, which is how you set up guard um, guard areas and then you have a pickup tool and a command tool uh, and then lastly we also have a patrol post which i'll show you how to use and then we have all different kinds um, now there's two kinds of each um, one of them is deployable and the other is just a normal one so the deployable one is used as a trigger to spawn a unit near an assembler put this in the output of the assembler to use it normally you don't want to take these out um, so typically though you will be getting these because these things are the actual like ones that you put into here These are the undeployed version. You can see there in the uh, parentheses uh, And this is what you put into the assembler here and this creates um, the droids to be deployed So you use this guy to deploy them you, you can make these um, you know You can see the cost here of what they require and then these guys are just inserted as items to the um, these guys are quite expensive um, into here and then it just deploys these droids as you see uh, I've done here okay now unfortunately I've not found any way to display their damage that's why I had these guys one of each spawn to try to find their damage but I don't actually see it and it doesn't list it that would be I guess really my only complaint with the mod um, is there's like no damage numbers here which is kind of unfortunate um, but essentially they're in order I would believe I believe um, almost so like um, your battle droid I think is like the first one you can do and then you have rocket droids a clockwork rifle bot um a flame bot and then a terminator and uh, then you also have these flying guys these defender robot units distractor robot units and then um also the uh yeah i believe that's it so um and defender robot units so what's the difference between these and the normal ones is that these guys the flying ones will actually go with a squad you can see that they're moving around on their own whereas you know normal defender capsules and stuff follow you around um, these guys are can actually be part of a squad so we have some enemies up here and let's test these guys out now by default what this does is this will create squads on its own um, and form squads of 10 once it hits 10 in a squad that's when they will go out and uh, kill stuff. So right here we have uh, terminators and there's nine here. That's why I've unpowered this assembler uh, Once it makes this tenth one it should form a squad here And then these guys should hopefully shortly move out and go towards these bases now these guys move out in um, They search I believe it was um, In about 5,000 tile radius. Yeah. Yep. So there you go Now these guys are probably gonna obliterate these biters because these are like the best ones in more early game but you can see there 
um, they're, they're doing it on their own. Like I can just go anywhere and they will go and search out bases within 5,000 tiles um, and it's adjustable um, via the config file or the droid setting module. You can see they're just moving on out and, uh, and killing stuff. Now, if I want to um, select them, I can click here and you can see they all have a green highlight. And then if I want, I can shift left click to send them to go do something specific. So if I uh, go there, you can see they're all heading over here. Or if I click this, you can see they stop for a second. Obviously, they're probably going to um, target this first just because it's in the way. Um, but that's kind of how you would do that. Now, this pickup thing um, I could do, although I'm probably going to get wrecked. <laughs> I might want to let them finish first. Uh, but yeah, you can see they're just doing it on their own. And in terms of like game performance, it's not really taking much. 0.02. Now, I, you know, obviously if you had like tons of these squads out and stuff, it may uh, create some game performance problems, but there you go, I can pick that up. Squad six is no more. So that's how you do that. And, and you can form them, uh, they don't have to all be of one type. Um, you know, you can have them like mix like this. And the only reason these guys aren't going out is because there's not 10. Um, so uh, how do you do um, the settings module? So you place this guy and you go in here and there's all these specific ones. So droid count, droids alive count. Um, these are counts for each droid. Um, and this just spawns some more. Um, terminator count, squad hunt radius. You can change that here. The squad station squad size, or guard station squad size, the retreat size, and the hunting squad size you could change from 10. I wanna go pick these guys up because I would like some bases left to um, test some other things on. Uh, could you please stop spawning stuff for a second? Um, so that's how you do that. It's really straightforward, uh, you know, so in it, it'll tell you here too. So if I just say like hunting squad size and I set this to, well, you can see it changed it to one, but if I say like 20, um, then it, um, it'll do 20. Okay. So that's how you set that stuff. Um, and then the droid activity module. So this is where this would maybe come in handy is this will read how many are alive. Um, here you can see the different kinds and you could now just wire this to an inserter let's say importing the things into here and uh, then just tell it essentially, you know, with a condition that if, you know, whatever it may be, droid count in general is less than say 10, he can work. Once it hits 10, he won't insert them anymore. Um, and then these arrows is what direction they deploy. So currently they're deploying below. You were seeing them kind of gather down here. Um, if I change it, they'll deploy above it, so on and so forth. Um, now here is the guard station. And this thing is just very straightforward. You place it down and the dev has given excellent explanations um, just with the tooltips. So spawn the squad, which stay close to the station, act as guards. The station will maintain the act, uh, maintain the squad so as to set a mount and replace them as they die. So the um, deal with the guard stations is that uh, by default, the group is still 10 um, that it will deploy and uh, it detects that the guard station will not spawn any more droids if it counts more than 10 within 16 tile radius. Um, so they stay in a very small area here, but this would be good for like, you know, just like a little guard station, maybe by a gate or something at your wall, you want them to guard and uh, then it won't go above 10 unless you change it in the settings thing. And, uh, and they won't go and hunt either. It's the thing, they'll stay here. Um, so then lastly is your patrol routes is you can set these patrol routes. So that's what this um, these things are these patrol posts. That's what these are. They're just like power poles and their wire reach is like really, really long, probably about the same as a big power pole. Um, but you place them and then you need to connect them with a green wire. So you take the wire and you just connect it like normal through the poles like so. Um, now this is actually going to disconnect it. But if I reconnect it um, like that. So this is essentially a route and it goes um, from the one closest to the guard station and you do want one very close to it um, like this and then um, out to the end. And then once it forms a route, um, theoretically it should, um, well, it says it should, um, they should maintain that and you can get rid of these. However, uh, do keep in mind that this uh, patrol route thing is kind of a work in progress. So there may be issues with it. Um, but these guys, so if I just, if I change this to like the, uh, battle droids, right? And we stick some um, battle droids in here. Now, another interesting thing is I wonder if this is affected by beacons, uh, potentially. I actually have no idea. So we're going to learn together. And it looks like the crafting speed is increased. So these guys are kind of just chilling here. Um, now, this squad size, I may want to change back down to like 10. 
Um, but you can see that they're kind of uh, me my bleh. they are kind of meandering over um, through here a bit. Uh, you know, kind of just going down here. Um, at, you know, it's like I said, it's a work in progress, but they are slowly making their way down here, um, the patrol route, and then uh, theoretically they should maybe head back um, once they hit this point, and they are. So that's how you set that up. Uh, overall, really, really awesome mod. Uh, you can also place, I'm just going to place these because you can do this. Um, you can place them. In fact, let's just place, uh, let's just place some of, some of all of them. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just do like two of these guys and two of these guys and two of these guys and maybe not one of them because they're super powerful. Let's just fill out the rest with battle droids. So that should be like 10, right? Or not? Come on guys, you can do it. So they're slowly heading out and you can see they're just like wrecking these guys. Now obviously this is early game, but uh, you do maybe want to be a little careful with the flame guys. I have seen that they can catch uh, your own guys on fire potentially unless that has been fixed. Um, last time I used it that was the case, but it may have been fixed. And uh, you can see they're just they're just doing their thing. They're just zooming around. Um, they don't ever like expire anything. They can obviously die, um, but they won't like expire. So they will just go around and hunt stuff down for you. And that's pretty much the mod. Um, squad size 9 of 6 has been unable to complete its orders to go here, here, here. It will retreat. So something may have gone wrong here. Um, but, uh, but there you go. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you uh, found this helpful. And if you want to check out the mod, definitely do so. It's a really, really well done mod here. Uh, link in the description. Any thoughts you have in the comments, uh, let me know as well. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.